Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this episode of White Cotton Quilts. So this week's episode is the week three of the Tula Storm at Sea quilt. So this week, I am not going to do much talking through it. You're just going to get to see a bunch of clips of me sewing the ro uh, blocks together, sewing the rows together, and machine quilting it. And that's it this week. Um, I've had the quilt top done for a couple of weeks now and I'm actually tonight working on putting the batting on it because the fair is this weekend. So crush your fingers, wish me luck, and let's get down to the videos. episode of white cotton quilts um the next video somebody um i saw was having issues with learning how to sew on a treadle sewing machine and i thought wow this is awesome because i learned to sew on a treadle sewing machine and i have mine 
So I think the next video I'm going to do, since I want to do more Storm at Sea, is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my daughter help me pull out my old treadle sewing machine, get it all worked out and make sure everything's working good because I haven't used it in forever. And I will show everybody how to sew on a treadle sewing machine. So in case you don't know what a treadle sewing machine is, a treadle sewing machine is a non-electric, non-computerized uh, sewing machine that, oh my God, they're so old. Um, I mean, I'm not wanting to say a hundred years old because they're not that, but they're, they're pretty old. Um, so my mom made me mine basically, or my dad did by taking two different machines and putting it into one. So mine is a white rotary machine on a Singer base. So it's going to have some differences than say one that has never been modified, but it still works. That's what I learned to sew on. And I'm going to show you the proper way to get it started and how to keep the foot pedal motion going and stopping while you're sewing, how to wind a bobbin for it, because uh, this lady said she had an issue trying to get the bobbin wound. And there's, you know, I love sewing on my treadle. Once I got the hang of it, I love sewing on it. And the treadle is actually what I taught my girls to sew on, because really you can't mess it up. Um, it's not like an electric machine that you have to be very careful, you know, stuff will jam. Um, the treadle is very, very hardy. It's very, very sturdy. And you would have to do a lot to mess this machine up. So they learned to sew on the treadle. They learned how to hand-eye coordination, get it started and pump the pedal and you know all that good stuff at the same time. So I think the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sew with it. Um, there seemed to be a lot of interest on, you know, uh, this lady's page that I was following on how do I use a treadle? How do I get it started? How do I take care of it? So I think that's what the next video is going to be guys. So if you want to see more of like this, um, if you have questions about sewing that you would like answered, or maybe you want me to do another, uh, the next video, uh, about something that you have a question about, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help you guys out. My channel is about full sewing transparency. There is no gatekeeping here. If there's something you want to learn about, I will be more than happy to teach you because in my mind, you are going to be the next generation of sewers. Maybe your kids are going to be the next generation of sewers and you need to know how to do this stuff. So that's it for today. I know you can probably hear the baby kittens that I've rescued playing in the background squeaking. And I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining me. Do all the things, like, comment, follow. That all helps me out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.